Hello everyone, my name is Daishi Okamoto. I am a graduate student at Chu University. Today, I'd like to talk about calculation methods of uplift force at the pier, based on gas liquid phase flow model. There are three topics I'd like to cover today. Firstly, introduction. Secondly, method. Finally, discussion and conclusion. First, I'll talk about the introduction. Generally, coastal structures such as pier generate external forces like impulsive wave pressure from the high wave and storm surges. So when we design the structure, considering external force is required. In fact, a built force is generated on the pier. Causes damage such as the slow being lifted and washed away. Therefore, when designing the value of the impulsive wear pressure, such as certain amount of apparent pressure is required, and it is necessary to calculate from hydraulic model experiments and theoretical formulas. Next is previous study. Tanimoto et al. 1978 focused on the generation of uplift forces and investigated the mechanism of ratio. In addition, he proposed that many changes in the water surface would greatly affect the pressure value. Takahashi, in 1983, investigated the mechanism of impulsive pressure. The pressure is changed due to the angle between the water surface and the wall and the thickness of the air layer. Also, the calculation of apparatus forces using numerical calculation is done by Bosonian et al. They calculated the pressure two-dimensionally by the analysis method using FVM. It was also shown that there is a reduction effect from the analysis by providing air vents in the flow slab. And the upright forces by open form is also being considered by the 2018. Arikawa et al. developed 3D numerical simulation and performed calculation based on previous experiments about impulsive wear pressure. Then, they confirmed the validity of their results. Arikawa and Yamano are studying how to reproduce the impulsive wear pressure by numerical calculation. In that study, the impulsive wear pressure due to a breaking wave was calculated to be reproducted, and the, it is shown that it can be reproduced qualitatively. A refutation of the mechanism of applied forces and reproduction calculation has been studied. Calculation of impulsive pressure has been considered. So we will simulate upright forces, which includes impulsive wear pressure. Acting on the pier using gas liquid phase flow model. And investigate the accuracy of the simulation model. And investigate the effect of air vents, the pair flow reduction of the forces. Next, I will explain the research method. Please see this figure. This is an outline of hydro model experiment. There are 5 cm gap between the aquarium and the model. 
A guardrail called a lab is provided at the bottom of the flow slab. A measure with a wave pressure gauge, PG1 to PG4. The following are the experimental results. You can see that the important wave pressure that vibrates with air and the pressure due to the standing wave is generated. Next, I will explain the numerical calculation method. The basic equation are the continuous equation and the Navier-Stokes equations. Discretization is performed in the time direction using the Euler method and the SMAC method. Next are the grid conditions and information about the numerical calculation. The grid side is set to 1 cm for the low part of the flow slab. The image of simulation is shown in the figure below. Next, I will show you an animation of the pressure distribution by numerical calculation. It can be seen that the pressure is increased due to an influence standing wave on the shore slide. Next is a comparison of measure and calculation water level at WGU1. The wave height is almost in agreement with the experimental value. This is a time series comparison of pressure. In the experimental value PG3 and PG4, it can be seen that the pressure waveform is complicated due to the influence of standing wave. On the other hand, in the numerical calculation, the hydrostatic pressure part can be reproduction walls, but the impulsive well pressure part the poor reproducibility. The following is a quantitative evaluation of the hydrostatic pressure. It can be seen that the values match a wall since the pressure value is affected by the water level in the hydrostatic pressure part. That part has been liberalized. The following is a relationship between the duration and the maximum wave pressure for the compressing parts of PG3 and PG4. It is a figure which shows the definition of retration to compare the experimental value and the calculation values. Next is a quantitative evaluation of the performance of the duration and the maximum wear pressure is defined as the previous pages. The value of impulse is underestimated by the calculation body, but the duration and maximum wear pressure. Next, I will explain the numerical model with air bands in the flow slab. The image is shown below. The size of the air bands is the square air bands or 5%. These are animation images. 
water mass is confirmed from the air vents. The following is a detailed view of the flow velocity distribution when air vents are provided. It can be scissors. The fluid is rejected from the air vent. The pressure is reduced to some extent by the outflow air vents from the air vents. But the impulsive water pressure cannot be calculated, so their feature is this. Finally, I will show the conclusion. In this study, numerical calculations were used to take into account of the presence of air. To calculate the impulsive wave pressure, more detailed examining is required, such as how the wave surface collides with the plate. Also, numerical calculations were performed by making air bends. Although it was confirmed that it was reduced to some extent, it is necessary to examine the effect of air vents from the number of cases larger than the aperture rate, clearance, and waves. Examining changes in pressure value by numerical calculation includes air compressibility.